lithium, the lightweight champion. As the world moves away from dependence on fossil fuels, new commodities that until recently played a minor role in our lives are becoming increasingly strategic. One of those is lithium. Number three on the periodic table, lithium is the world's lightest metal, yet soft enough to be cut with a knife. And it's versatile, from glass and ceramics to greases and air conditioners. It's even used in space stations and submarines to remove carbon dioxide from the air. Compact, lightweight, yet packing a powerful energy punch, lithium is perhaps best known for its use in small rechargeable batteries in our cell phones, laptops, cordless tools, and video cameras. Lithium is also used as a medication. It might even be poised to make the world a healthier place. To now, oil has been the only commodity that's moved the world around. However, our dependence on oil comes at a high price. Strategic, security, economic, and health problems. Change is coming. This light, versatile metal is poised to revolutionize the way we drive. No other metal has the unique properties that make lithium the best known element for electric vehicle batteries. In fact, the lithium-ion battery is the battery of choice for automakers rolling out hybrid, plug-in hybrid, or electric vehicles. The fuel of tomorrow is electricity, and if the future is electric, then the future is lithium. Lithium-based batteries hold more charge and power than other batteries made of similar materials. World demand for lithium used in small batteries has been increasing by 15 to 20 percent a year in recent years. The introduction of automotive batteries will boost demand by leaps and bounds. For example, we use 2 to 5 grams of lithium to power a cell phone. But for an electric car, we may need as much as 20 kilograms. And future uses will spark even more appetite for this light metal. Electricity storage, modern lightweight aircraft, and millions of new consumers of laptops, iPods, and cell phones. So will there be enough lithium to meet our 21st century needs? To answer that, let's take a look at how lithium is made and where it's found. Lithium can be found on every inhabited continent. Australia, Asia, Europe, Africa, and North and South America. And while it can be mined from hard rock ores like other metals, there is also a project to extract it from clay in Nevada. The lithium can be found in any place in the world, basically, even at the sea water that is the more abundant area of the world. Today, the most prevalent way to get lithium is from lithium-rich brine deposits in closed basins located in arid environments such as northern Chile. Our project, it is about 1,000 miles north Santiago, in the driest desert in the world, in a place called Salar de Atacama. Beneath the floor, there are solutions, it's like a sponge, with holes that contain solutions that we call them brines. This magnificent salt flat is home to more than 40 percent of the world's lithium production. In fact, more than half of the world's deposits are found in the Lithium Triangle, which borders Chile, Argentina, and Bolivia. The process of extracting lithium from brines is similar to the production of salt. The brines are pumped to evaporation ponds where the sun evaporates them for over a year until there is a 6% or sufficient concentration of lithium salts. At that point, the concentrate is shipped to processing plants where a solvent and soda ash is added to remove impurities. Soda ash is also used to soften your household drinking water. All these operations are clean, energy efficient, and environmentally friendly and there are many untapped sources yet to be found. Vast riches of untapped mineral deposits there. They say it could be worth as much as a trillion dollars for that country. Lithium is really abundant. As exploration continues, new sources will be found and become economically viable. There's a lot more lithium out there. Lithium is plentiful and geographically diverse, unlike oil. Most of the world's oil is produced in the Middle East oppressive countries. Most of the world's lithium is produced in Chile, a friendly country, a flourishing democracy, a government that cares so much about its own people that is willing to lift them from the bottom of the earth. Furthermore, when we drive our car on oil, we have to buy the oil every single week. Whereas when we drive our car 
on a battery made from lithium, we have to buy the lithium once in 10 years. And unlike oil, lithium can be recycled. There are already several facilities that can recycle lithium. It's expected most lithium from automotive batteries will be recycled after the first set of electric vehicle batteries finish their life cycle. Even today, 99% of auto batteries are recycled in the U.S. This recycling will reduce the need to find new lithium sources and ensure we have enough for years to come. Oil interests have realized the challenge emanating from the electric car and are warning against dependence on lithium from Bolivia. You've got to understand that a lot that goes into those batteries is going to be imported. So for example, we're likely to import rare earth elements uh, from China or uh, lithium from Bolivia. Indeed, Bolivia has more than a third of the world's lithium reserves, but despite its riches, the country barely produces any lithium. Bolivia's president, Evo Morales's policies have discouraged investors from investing in his country. El capitalismo ni siquiera es solución para los países capitalistas. The good news is the lithium industry is well equipped to meet the world demand without Bolivia for decades to come. Scare tactics about lithium scarcity and dependence on Bolivia's lithium aim to serve one purpose, keeping us addicted to oil. Lithium can help take us off oil but it can also help us save electricity. Today, we lose electricity we don't use, and millions of tons of coal and natural gas are being burnt in vain. Large so-called grid-scale lithium batteries can help store electricity until it's needed during peak hours. This storage capacity can save us money and reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. If you want to strip oil of its strategic value, breathe cleaner air, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions, the answer seems to lie with lithium. But what is its cost? Lithium makes up less than 2% of the cost of a battery. So even if the price of lithium were to miraculously double overnight, we would barely feel the difference in our wallets. But if the price of oil were to double overnight, the world economy will collapse. At today's prices, the amount of lithium that goes into an electric car battery costs about $110. That's a one-time buy with your car. How much does it cost you each and every month to fill up your car with gas? Will another competitor arise to challenge lithium in the car battery market? There are only so many elements to choose from, and researchers keep coming back to lithium. Lithium is our path to security, energy independence, and clean air. In the future, we will send crews to space in newer launch vehicles, and planes will need to be lighter. What metal comes to mind? Lithium, plentiful, environmentally friendly, geopolitically safe, and essential to a better world. We're the tipping point, and lithium, the lightweight champion, is ready to meet the challenge.